In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with each of you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist once again this holy week, we acknowledge God's love for us, God's presence with us. We acknowledge the need for God's mercy and forgiveness. We open ourselves up to that presence, and that gift that God brings. Come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You feed us with your very self. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You send your spirit to be our counselor, our guide. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands, listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he named me, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow in his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I, I will sing of your, your salvation. salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I, I will sing of your, your salvation. salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I, I will sing, sing of, of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice day by day, your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will, I will sing of, of your salvation.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After G Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, what you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since jo Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what you need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once. And it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go you cannot come, so now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. Many things going on in this Gospel this morning. Um, and one thing that, that is struck me in my reflection is what Jesus does for Judas. To dip a morsel into something and give it to them was a sign of friendship and love and care. And Jesus does that to care for the one who would betray him. What an amazing thing. We sometimes think that in our in our um, sinfulness that God doesn't care for us. That in our alienation from God and one another, God sort of abandoned us. Uh, we, some say that, that the, the coronavirus is a punishment. Well, maybe it is, and maybe it's not. 
But what we do know is that through all, God is present to us and loving us. Through the isolation we all experience and the death that we're experiencing because of our daily routines, our life has changed dramatically. And we're sad and angry about that reality. But God hasn't left us. We are preparing to, to ritually celebrate great loss and great gift in this upcoming Holy Triduum, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But we can't do it in the usual ways that we're accustomed to because of the pandemic. But that doesn't mean that God is not present to us and doesn't love us. Simon Peter, at the end of that reading that we heard, why can I not follow you now? Why can I not do, we might be saying, the, the things I've always done before? Why can I not come to church? Well, because for our safety, for our health and the end of spreading this virus, we're confined. And it's not comfortable. I will lay down my life for you. Yes, Jesus says, will you? Amen, I say, before the cock crows, you're going to deny me three times. It doesn't stop. Jesus from loving Peter. His persistent love for us has to be remembered in this time of loss and suffering. And the gospel really points that out, at least to me. So as we go through our day, disrupted as it is because of the constraints of the pandemic, we need to look for and experience and open ourselves up to God's loving presence, God's faithful love for us. This ever faithful, ever loving God is there to answer our prayers and so with confidence we come and we pray. May God bless and strengthen those who have the responsibilities in the church, especially our Pope and bishops. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected officials on all levels of government throughout our nation, for leaders of nations throughout our world, that all of them would establish justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, for the suffering and sorrowing, for the isolated and lonely, that God's Spirit will rest upon them all, bringing them healing and consolation and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who care for the sick, for those who respond to those in need of care, for our civil authorities and, and those policemen and firemen and all of those folks who work, do doctors and nurses, and to take care of those who are ill, that God's protection might surround them, God's healing love might fill their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whom the Lord calls to priesthood and religious life, that they might be strengthened and graced to 
respond positively to that call, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we carry in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Divine Beloved, we come bringing these needs. Grace us, strengthen us to accept your answers as we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family, and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May your mercy, O God, Cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs>